Okay, so I got some good news, everybody. This IBM ThinkPad A31 is now mine. I sp I'm gonna give the owner of this machine uh, 40 bucks, and I'm gonna give him some games. These are games I don't even play. I've never even played these. Um, these were given to me two years ago and I've never even once tried them out. These are used games by the way. Um, this was a $13 game. Test Drive Eve of Destruction. And this was a $10 game. Nicktoons Unite. Never ever played them. Nor do I want to because I don't have time for video games. I have time for you guys by making videos and making sure that you guys are entertained and well at least have a video a day or probably once a week. So that's what I'm doing here. Like I don't sit down and play video games all day. I'm a person that works and works and works and make sure that I get everything done in one day. And I've been working on so many laptops lately. It's been just it's just been a laptop crazy weekend. I got this blue piece of shit Toshiba satellite that I'm still scratching my head and trying to figure out what the hell's wrong with it. Emailed the owner and told them that I can't really do anything about it. And I would recommend that they would buy a netbook. Because netbooks are pretty cheap now, you know? Like if you're a person who likes to go on the internet and transfer files and do, do word processing and stuff, then a netbook's okay. So I said to them, if you'd like to donate it to me, that's okay. Or I can give you some money for it. You know, just a little bit of money. So, I haven't heard back from the owner yet, so I don't know if they're going to part with this computer or if they're going to take it back. And I've also been dealing with that piece of shit Toshiba satellite. Um, hard drive's dead, so I don't know what to do with it. It's been sitting here for a week now and haven't even gotten to work on it. Well, I have gotten to work on it, but... I can't do anything else because the damn hard drive won't work. So anyway, back to the ThinkPad. I gotta stop going off and talking about stuff. Back to the ThinkPad. $40 spent. I have a total of $200 and now I only have $160 I, I, I believe that's left. Let me double check because my math isn't as brilliant as you think it is. Calculator. 200. Take away. 40. Equals 160. Yeah, I, I was right. Okay. So, there's 160 bucks left over. Boo-hoo. I'm fine with it. Um, I've been doing some research on this laptop. And found out that the USB ports on it are 1.1. That's not good. That is not good. I figured a Pentium 4 laptop like this, this is a Pentium 4 computer, and it should have 2.0 ports, I believe. I think it's 2.0. I could be wrong. I think it's 2.2, but I call them 2.0. So, that really bites. A Pentium 4 computer should have 2.0 uh, ports, not 1.1. But, oh well, who cares. It, it's just kind of a, a bummer, because I can't use my iPod. I can't use my memory stick. What the hell do I use to 
put files on this computer or probably take them off. Well, taking the files off, I can't do. But putting files on, I can do. With a rewritable disk. This Toshiba down here has a rewritable DVD drive. I've been using this Toshiba laptop for my personal use for the past few days because it's been so reliable when it comes to rewritable disks. And sometimes a little bit of web browsing, but the rest of it, nothing. It, it just freezes. So, um, whenever I want to put something on this computer, this is the way to go. But when I have to take something off, I can't. Um, the only thing the USB ports are good for on this computer is to charge my iPod. So if I'm sitting somewhere, like, for example, at the train station or... Well, I don't think I would ever go to a train station, but... If I'm sitting at a public library or somewhere out in public, if someone asked me if they could charge their iPod, I would say, definitely. It's not going to bother me while I'm working. I won't get a screen popping up saying there's an iPod connected. Because it's 1.1, and 1.1 is very, very old, so... Yeah. Um, another thing this computer is really good for is videos. Oh man, this computer is awesome at videos. Like, holy crap. I can play um, I Walk the Line on this thing. My favorite movie. It's one of my favorites. So I can play my videos on here. Um, some of you might ask, why can't you play your videos using Windows Media Player? Well, it says that my DVD drive is, doesn't support. I don't know what it's talking about, but I can't even play my DVDs in Media Player. But narrow um, showtime seems to be fine. This is the screen that pops up. Windows Media Player cannot play this DVD because there is a problem with the digital copy protection between your DVD drive decoder and video card. Try, re uh, try installing an updated driver for your video card. Well, I have an updated driver for my video card. It's um, ATI Mobility Radeon 7500. So, I don't understand. It's an upgraded video card, but apparently to Windows Media Player, it's being a dumb fuck, so I can't really do anything about it. Games. Oh man, this thing's awesome at games. The Simpsons work very, very well on this computer. And you're supposed to hear sound, but this is a downloaded copy, so... It didn't come with all the cutscenes and stuff. I tried playing Grand Theft Auto on this computer, but the DVD has a lot of scratches on it. And the drive can't even read it that well. So I'm loading the game right now. The screen looks very, very bright. And the little stupid light on the top of the screen. Uh, let's kick someone. Hello, I want to kick you. Get over here, chump. Oh, it's on now. Why, you little... Ha. 
so this is a very good game graphics are very nice and especially on a 15 inch screen This game is really, really fun. I enjoy it. I want to drive you, dumbass. No! I'm a lean, mean speed thingy! So, when it comes to games, very, very nice. Movies, very nice as well. Um, I'm going to have to download a program called Real Tech. Um, to kind of boost up the volume on my speakers because the speakers are are at max and well it's not loud enough so downloading Realtek is the way to go and this thing does say AC97 integrated audio so that means I can install that program if it doesn't say um, AC97 then I can't install real tech but I can on this computer um, yeah like this computer is very very nice I enjoy it now I previously said that the battery was excellent well I kinda lied the battery doesn't really work that well when I'm trying to play the Simpsons hit and run the battery instantly drops to 5% when I watch a movie in full screen mode it's fine you know the battery does not instantly drop uh, the battery alarm starts going off and then um, I put my mouse on the battery and it says oh it says zero percent and zero minutes left and it stays on for like 20 minutes even though it says zero percent and zero minutes I don't know what's wrong with that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it about this computer. Um, I do know how to put files on it by using a DVD, but taking files off is going to be a real pain in the ass. This machine does not come with wireless, but I'm probably going to save up money. Well, well, I got enough money anyway, but probably going to look somewhere where they have a cheap wireless card and when it comes to USB ports well I hear that there's an attachment for this computer that you have to put in the PC MICA port and you, you get 2.0 USB right there I don't know where to get those though um, I'm pretty sure they're expensive so I need a wireless card and 2.0 USB ports and then this computer will be ready to use for um, anything money well spent I knew this was the right thing to do